Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. So today we're going over how to save your most valuable NPCs and also where you can find some of the best ones that you can then use as your new main character. So first of all, let's just go over the basics here. When one of your NPCs dies, they are going to get completely deleted and it can really be painful if you manage to get a NPC with some really great talents on it. And also your character that you start out with is going to be locked at level 50 for every skill, both for production and also combat, which is going to be a huge disadvantage uh, when you can control the NPC that have up to uh, 120 instead, boosting production speed or damage with certain weapons, for example, and also unlocking new skills for those weapons as well. And also you can get some really nice character skills also here, like AoE Heal or Taunt, for example, uh, when using one of the NPCs, which is also a huge quality of life to have. So how do we save them when they die? And this is doable by getting the mysterious stone table. Easiest way to get this is going to be to go to the ancient ruin dungeon, which is located just west of the rainforest across the river here. And the reason for this is that the NPCs here are going to be the lowest one. And also you don't have to kill anything to be able to get this. Having a fast mount like a panther for example is highly recommended as you can just run past all enemies within the dungeon. And if you just keep hugging the wall to the right here you will get to this big area where there is a elite standing in the middle here. And here you just want to run past him and then after that you will find a door that will get you into the dungeon. Uh, the plunder NPCs here will not run past this door and once inside here you will find mechs and these are quite slow and easy to defeat but as I said you don't have to fight anything to be able to uh, get yourself the mysterious stone table but if you are you will have to either have a hammer or a gauntlet to be able to deal damage to them and if you want to take it one extra step you can also bring with you some uh, corrosion tanks that can throw on them to weaken them even more so we deal uh, even more damage to them. And just keep going right and you can just ignore all the mechs basically uh, they will not follow you once you pass through these doors and here you just want to run straight forward and just keep running straight You can just keep ignoring the mechs, just move straight all the way until we get to the next room here. And then when you open this next door here, here you want to take the door to the left. And be careful when you get in here because there will be a trap on the floor just right around the corner here. You can jump past it and then what you want to do when you get here is to shoot. Or you can also throw anything at the symbol that's above the door to make it open. And once that's done you are safely made it to the room with the mysterious stone table. And here you will also find some extra chests as well with some nice loot in it like coal, talc. You get some gear durability too and also green crystal and creation tanks. And the mysterious stone table is a two part building and it uh, do have some weight to it so make sure that you don't have too much items on you when you're going to get it. Putting it in your mouth is uh, going to be the best option for this. And once that's done you can start head back home if you like or you can also go and fight the boss of the dungeon here and that's going to be located just to the left here. And the boss overall is not too hard to handle uh, when you know his attacks. And what you can do here is also to bring with you a NPC and you can place him just before the boss door here. So if you would die you can simply spawn on your NPC to pick up your loot. And your mount is not going to draw any aggro here as well so it's quite safe wherever it stands. For the boss fight the easiest way to deal with it is to throw a corrosion tag on it to weaken it. And the first attack is going to be his range attack and it's very easy to avoid. Simply just strive to either the left or the right to avoid it. Then he gets a hammer and here you want to go back and forth between attacks basically hitting him. Uh, and then wait for the boss to hit back and then go in and hit the boss again. And the third one is going to be the most fatal one and the one that to really try to avoid here. And that's his cyclone ability or his spin to win. 
and this will activate when he changed to his dual blade and here you basically just want to run away from him until he's done with his attack and the boss area is uh, quite large so don't feel afraid to take advantage of it and last one is going to be when he gets his sword and his shield and you have one range attack when he throws shield at you and this will also be returned to the boss so it hits twice and for this uh, same as the other attack try to just move to the right or left or even dodge you also have a melee ability with the sword and shield that will do like a combo dealing four faster hits and basically when he does that just move out and then you can start attacking him when it's done and that's basically the whole boss fight i put the whole fight uncut at the end if you want to check it out and once you defeat him you can grab the reward from the boss which is also is going to include your first mask upgrade with some other great stuff as well You'll also be able to open up another room here, a treasure room with some more chests and rewards. And also here you can find a, one additional mysterious stone table as well. So now when we have the table you can now start to use it to save some of your NPCs. And if you take a look on the remodel page here it is where you can start to import some of your characters. And you will have three slots to choose from if you are on official servers as one of the slots here is going to be occupied by your starter character. And to add a character simply control the NPC you want to save it and then just select empty slot and press space or you can also click on info entry at the right corner of the screen. As you can see here I have some of my valuable NPCs here like a master farmer for example. We also have a crafter slash a cook. And for the last one I have a character that I use as my new main character. And I'll go more into that in just a second. And one thing to note here is if a character dies it will lose all the levels that you gain on them. And even the professions and weapon skills so you have to level them up again if one of these characters would die. And this will also cost you 400 mask energy and also 2 green crystal to resurrect them so not too bad at all. If you go back to my new main NPC character here and uh, what you've done here is basically getting level 50 NPC with some decent talents on him. It's nothing crazy on this but it's a lot better than just using my starter character. Uh, we have melee combat for some extra damage in uh, close range. Swift pace, one of my favorite ones, just the more movement speed overall. And there's a lot of other great ones that you can get here as well. And here we also have skills going over 100 like the Jewel Blade for example here. And as mentioned earlier, cap for this starter character is going to be 50 for all of these skills. And the best part here is that this character is a level 51. So we know that this is what we get all of the time even if we would die with him. Uh, he's already at max level. So to do this you want to find a spot where the NPCs are at level 50. And the place I go to is the Barbarian Fortress at Wetlands and it's located just to the west of the portal. And here you can find them between level 45 and 50 and it's a huge city that you can go through to find great NPCs for your tribe. And I like to start by going at the right entrance here at this fortress as you can find laborers, porters and also craftsmen. If you go to the right when you enter here from this side so it's uh, just a plus basically. But here what you want to look for are level 50 NPCs and hopefully you will get one with some decent ranks on him as well. And do keep in mind that it's all about the RNG so you can still have a great NPC with a lower rank on him. Uh, but the chance of getting a really good one is uh, higher if you manage to get uh, a gold or lender rank on one of them. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'll end it here with the uncut video of the boss fight uh, if you want to check it out. If you got any other questions feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!